we kickstart our bulletin this afternoon in Naivasha where the governors are set to elect a new set of council leaders. And this is amid claims that the Jubilee Coalition is meddling in the polls in pursuit of control. Sam Ogina has all the answers for us. He's standing by in Naivasha and has all the details. Sam, um, just to give us an overview of what's happening, which governors have arrived, what is the mood like uh, where you are? Thank you so much, Edith. Now from uh, the Lake Naivasha Simba Lodge here in Naivasha, I can confirm to you that there is a new leadership in the Council of Governors. Not something quite new per se because uh, uh, the Council Chairman Isaac Kruto, the Debomet Governor, has been re-elected as Chairman. But the new kid on the block will be Mr. Salim Vuria, the Kuala Governor who has been elected the Vice is because the Nairobi governor, Dr. Ivan Skidero, actually opted out of the race. And uh, Bungoma governor, that is Ken Lusaka, has maintained his seat as the secretary uh, to the Council of Governor, but with a change of name. Now, that position will not be referred to as secretary to the uh, Council of Governor, but as the chief whip, the person who will be responsible of whipping all governors in case there is a meeting to be called or uh, there is a session to be attended by all governors, then uh, Lusaka has the responsibility of whipping all governors uh, to such forum. Now, I can confirm to you that uh, Dr. Ivan Skidero, who is actually uh, right now in the Council of Governors meeting, uh, when he was opting out of the race, said that uh, he is having huge responsibilities to deal with from the city county, that is the county of Nairobi, saying there is, uh, to, there is pressure from his side, from his uh, county, and he can't actually juggle between the two positions as city governor and equally as vice chair of the Council of Governors. Edith? Uh, Samugina, now these elections are just an agenda for the uh, for the governor's general uh, annual general meeting. So, do we know what other issues they're set to discuss? We know that Isaac Ruto had said he will defend devolution, which he says has come under fire. Have they said anything with regard to this? Edith, we have not been spoken to by uh, the governors because they are actually closed in a closed door meeting. They're having a session uh, right now as we speak. But uh, immediately after that meeting ends, uh, we've been promised that they will actually come and address us, of course, uh, to uh, unveil their new lineup of leadership to the uh, to the Council of Governors. But yes, uh, Isaac Ruto has been a man under siege from the Jubilee Coalition. Uh, actually, uh, his side saying that um, he's actually under mining uh, the government as it were. Remember, Isaac Ruto has actually been championing for devolution right, uh, left and center, saying that uh, actually at some point pushing for a referendum to in enhance uh, the budget that should be, uh, actually the monies that should be disbursed to counties, saying that it that amount should be capped at a uh, over 50 percent and that amount should actually be enshrined in the constitution as it were and also uh, after today's election of course uh, there is a meeting but with the uh, that is uh, the elected women mcas from all across the the counties the 47 counties who are also supposed to be uh, trooping into the symbol of Vasha here and i've seen a couple of women mcas already uh, making their way here edith well, thank you very much, Samogina. He will be having more details for us in subsequent bulletins, but confirming that there's a new leadership when it comes to the Governor's Council, although Isaac Ruto remaining the chairperson.